Raider Nation, it's your boy Graphic Raider, man. Back with another quick video, the views expressed here, Graphic Podcast. Welcome to the Black Hole of Raiders YouTube, y'all. Let's get straight to it. Some news for the day. Good news at that. Our Raiders have designated cornerback Trayvon Molin to return off of the IR. We have missed him dearly. He has not played since week four when he was injured against the Chargers. I love this. Brandon Faison was okay in his absence. Um, Desmond Trufant has been putting up, you know, a couple good snaps together as well for us. But this is our true number two corner. And man, I'm very, very thankful to see him coming back. I do not think he's going to play Sunday against the Washington football team. I think he'll be back next week in Arrowhead to face the Kansas City Chiefs with maybe first place on the line. So this is perfect timing. Shout out to Trayvon Molin. Thank God he is back. Also, in the news, we have waived wide receiver Dylan Stoner and offensive lineman DJ Fluker. I had high hopes for him at right tackle. Brandon Parker has been terrible this year. But, I mean, look, you guys, DJ Fluker is coming off of a serious injury. He just had surgery, I believe, in June or July. So it was going to be tough for him to actually really play a big part of this team regardless. But it sucks, man. I really, really thought that we'd had an upgrade at right tackle. But, hey, I guess we have to run with Brandon Parker at this point. Man, put a on him. I don't care at this point, man. Also, we have signed safety Kayvon Frazier for depth purposes to the practice squad. The former Cowboy Dolphin Bengal has 73 career tackles, one sack, one forced fumble, and one pass deflection in his career. Depth piece move. Also, something to keep an eye on, you guys. D-Jax popped up on the injury report yesterday. He was limited. Today, he did not practice. At his pr uh, presser today, he did say he has a spasm in his calf. So it's not serious, but that's something to keep an eye on because if he does not play this Sunday, man. I just hope and pray we bring up Tyron Johnson because we need to replace speed with speed. Um, but let's just hope that D. Jackson does play this Sunday against the Washington football team. In other news, Josh Jacobs has popped up on the injury report once again. He was limited at practice today with the ankle injury. That's something to keep an eye on, man. Look, I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're going to run the ball too heavy against the Washington football team anyway. They are great against the run. But, man, this just sucks to see this guy continuously pop up on the injury report. Prayers go out to Josh Jacobs. Also, it looks as though Darren Waller will not be playing this Sunday. He has not practiced at all this week. But we all we all assume that. Um, once again, I think he will be coming back against the Kansas City Chiefs next week at Arrowhead with that big divisional game on the line. Shout out to everybody in the nation, man. It's your boy, Graphic Raider. I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. I love y'all, man. One.